Hi, it's Keith. Um, been following a lot on our social media about paralleling inverters. Here's some tips. When you parallel inverter, you must parallel everything, except if you're on a three phase, of course, they won't be paralleled unless you've got more than three inverters. You've got six, the master slave is paralleled, so on and so forth. Your batteries must be on a common bus bar, all batteries on one bus bar. Keep the battery cables all the same length. You don't want to have one battery cable longer than the other. The battery feed into one inverter to the next all must be equal length. Otherwise, those resistances of those cables become massive. What you absolutely do not want to do is power up the inverters and then, then connect the load. If you're on a, for example, if you're on a single phase and you've got three inverters or two inverters, you don't want to power one up and then connect it and power the other one and connect it. They must be powered together absolutely must be powered together the communications cables must be seeing each other and set as parallel and it will set you do not want to put a breaker on the battery feed onto the grid separately if you're going to use a breaker put put all your batteries on the breaker to the buzz bar and then from the inverter directly to the buzz bar you don't want individual breakers if you've got a breaker on the grid you use a three phase breaker if it's a three phase a single phase you just put the three of them into one breaker. You can't put individual breakers because when you break those circuits, then you're going to cause an imbalance and the thing will drop out or you can damage the inverter. You, it, it's so important. You can't power them up. I, I'm going on and on because I've recently seen some issues and seen some major problems. And here's some people. They basically, they, 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 they power up one inverter and they put a breaker on the, on the load. And they got the other one on the breaker on the load. And I see one guy, switch one on, it's all working great. It's in parallel. And then the next one, he switches the next one on. And and with that, because it's not being set up correctly, bang, you're going to get a clash, you're going to get a short circuit. And wonder why, you know, all sorts of things happen. And some, some one guy said, oh, well, it worked okay for a bit. And then it stopped working. I am absolutely surprised it worked it at all. I put all this on the, on the manual. If you go through the training manual, but I am reiterating a little bit. But please, please, if you are in parallel, common buzz bar, one buzz bar, all cables the same length. Your grid must be on a single breaker, a single or three phase breaker. You load on a single breaker, your auxiliary on a single breaker, not lots of breakers. Power up the set all at the same time. Make sure you've got the communication between the battery and the inverter. Make sure you've got communication between the inverters. And I mentioned before about the dip switches. If you've got more than, th more than three inverters, then you can select the dip switches to remove the resistors. I've covered this on loads of videos, but please, I just please just say, if you follow it, it will work brilliantly. All right, thank you.